What's up, dudes? Chooch. Got to go ride the little M10 Ford, dude. This thing is, thing is awesome. This is what it looks like next to the other wheels. This is about the size comparison. That's it parked next to a Sherman and a V12 and an EXN. Let's go ride this little thing. It's a lot of fun. I love the lights, that blue lights on it. My hand on some more. Super, super nimble, dudes. Check it out. So, super nimble. What's up, dudes? Chooch, back with another one. Today, I'm out here ripping on the M10 4, and I've been loving this thing, guys. So, I've had it now for about three days, and this is some footage from the first day of riding it, guys. And I, I plan tomorrow, I got the whole day off, and it's some nice weather, and I'm going to take it down and go do some city riding on it uh, for you guys and showcase it riding all around denver and all the old spots i used to ride but um that's going to be awesome because I, I really want to see how this thing performs in like a city environment and i think it's just going to be fun i think it'll i think it'll be perfect in the actual like inner city and i think like dude this thing is fast like i took it up to full speed on the trails and it really it moves for such a small wheel and at a thousand dude at eleven hundred dollars it's crazy that you can get can get like a got weight wheel um i know it's a small wheel but dude it looks so cool it's so much fun this thing is a total blast it really is i'm so glad that they made this thing and i love the fact it comes with this uh like rad knobby tire on it the, the knobby tire will last a long time guys just because it has like you know thick knobs on it you're not going to be going extremely fast on this little thing and this tire is probably going to last forever on it it uh it handles great off-road i can really get going fast on it like on gravel and corner hard and not worry about it slipping out or anything like that um, i mean it takes off dude this little thing it, it moves and grooves on these trails and it is just, I had no power pads on it, which I realized I really did need power pads on it. This thing is fast. It, 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 it can easily go way faster right than this. I just don't have power pads on it. So I don't feel comfortable going as fast as it'll go. As soon as I get power pads and I can jump over all the little obstacles, I'm going to go full speed on this little thing. It's awesome, man. This thing's fun. Yeah, so this little, this little thing, once I get some power pads on it, and can just hop over all the obstacles that are coming up and you know unweight and all that stuff um it, it will really be i'll be able to ride it even faster and better than i than i was right here this is literally my first time taking it out on my, an actual trail or riding it around like in a substantial setting other than riding it around the house or anything like that um this this is the first time so i would only get better from riding it from here and it just felt great it really did it felt comfortable and it didn't feel like a, I, I thought this would really feel kind of like a novelty like a toy and it really doesn't guys this thing is it it's super super fun and it's um it actually you know it, it'll go a long way on a charge and it goes fast and this seriously could be the answer to somebody wanting to get their first wheel and i would have not have thought that until i, I rode it around and actually experienced it uh, I really did think this would be something you would get if you already had like a bunch of electric unicycles and already into the hobby for a little while, and you wanted to get something just as like a, just a play around thing, as like a just a, a novelty thing, just to have the next wheel, and you know, just bust out on a trail or take in your car with you to have, or you know maybe use for a quick inner city trip. But this is the real deal. It really is. This is the real deal. Uh, if you got this as a first wheel or second or third wheel, I think you'd be happy with it. And I think you'll have fun with it. I, I had a total blast on it. And I actually, I can't wait to go ride it again tomorrow. Um, it, I, I'm so glad we got it. Like, That's pretty high top speed on it for such a small little wheel. This is perfect to learn on. Perfect to learn on. Like... Because I learned on a 14-inch wheel, something small. And so this is 11 inches. It's easier to learn on. Definitely easier to learn on. I mean, like, dude. I mean, anybody I feel like could just get on this thing, throw a foot on this, and just learn easily. Like, it's simple. And it's you feel like you're low to the ground. And you, it's not a lot of weight to keep up. This thing is really great. 
perfect first wheel. Now that now that I've ridden it, because I at first I didn't want to recommend something that was underpowered to people. Uh, that you would get, that would kind of be like a novelty, and you get over real quick. But you won't. This this will be fun for a while. And with that, almost 800 watt hours in this thing. That's that's great, man. This thing is fun. This is a really good little wheel. This thing's great. I, I really like it. This is my first time riding it on trails. This is this thing's fun. Straight out of the box. And there wasn't any hiccups to it, any fuss. I got it right out of the box, turned it on, and just started riding it, which I think that's that Bigo did a good job with this little wheel. That is crazy. It looks so small outside, guys. It literally looks it looks so tiny outside. That's crazy. As I possibly can, because it, it's it is a blast, man. On, on every terrain, in the city, off road, I, I'm gonna set up a full obstacle course, like outside of my house, guys. I'm, I'm gonna buy. I've already been looking on Amazon at the uh, Fresh Park ramps, and I want to buy a few Fresh Park ramps. They're, they're basically like these foldable ramps that are actually really nice. But I want to get a few of them. I want to get the uh, like the BMX ramp and a few of the skateboard ramps and build like a full-on obstacle course around the house because I, I plan to keep riding this thing for a while. Like I, I want to have this and maybe get another one in the future and actually have like a full dedicated obstacle course at the house for the M104 um, because you can really do a lot with this, this thing, thing is, in a small incredible. area. This you can is, build a full-scale riding course in your like backyard that is really fun to ride on and and there's no other wheel you could really do that on like a 16 inch wheel um 18 inch wheel any bigger wheel like that it just it's just too big to ride in a small area this you could you can build the ultimate the ultimate at home electric unicycle play park and and that's what i plan to do guys i'm going to spend probably about five six hundred bucks on a bunch of on a bunch of different jumps build some myself get some like wooden planks and build some jumps and berms and all that type of stuff and have like a indoor slash outdoor m10 um at home electric unicycle park i think that's really fun another thing i love about this is the overall just build quality of of this wheel it is a small wheel but the build quality is incredible on it a full aluminum shell the massive headlight on it. I love the, the huge pedals it comes with. It doesn't come with those cheapo pedals that a lot of the wheels used to come with. These are nice, big, like solid pedals that, I mean, they're huge. And they, they, they're nice. They're really nice pedals on this. So the only thing you have to do, guys, is maybe get like aftermarket power pads or something to make this wheel fully decked out and ready to go. And that's what I plan to do next, to get some really cool looking power pads on this thing, maybe some blue ones or something that match match the overall look of the, the wheel. But I think that will be awesome. But once you get power pads on this thing, you'll be able to jump it. It's so lightweight. You can just jump up huge inclines and jump over any little obstacle in the trail and whatnot. So you can essentially ride it just as fast as a regular electric unicycle because you can unweight and jump over any oncoming pothole or any bump or anything like that. It's just like Ollie and a skateboard. But once you get power pads on this thing, you'll be able to just jump over whatever whatever's coming up. So it's cool, man. I can't wait to take this thing down and see what it's like in the city. I think it's going to turn a lot of heads. I can't wait to see in the video of all the people that are looking when this thing comes by up at 25 miles an hour. And it's like this thing, it looks like something you made, I mean, in a science class. It really does. It looks like something you made in a, in a, a little like a side project in a science class and it turned out to be really really good and extremely fast for how small it is and i think people like if you're riding this around in a city you come by somebody on something this small smoking at 25 miles an hour they're going to be looking around like what in the hell is he on like it really does look it looks way out of proportion to like the the performance to what this thing looks like is just ridiculous and ride backwards right here i'm not going near as fast as you can on it but the backwards riding on it is just fun that's why i left this clip in here i was about to 
not put this little segment of me riding backwards in here. But it just shows that it's just a lot of fun. Like I, this is literally me just taking it out to play around on. I, I fully intended to go, you know, ride for like 15 minutes just to showcase this, riding down this trail like one time. But it ended up being so much fun, I stayed out here and rode until the camera died. <laughs> just screwing around on the same little trail, riding backwards and spinning around and just seeing what I could do on the wheel. And that's what it's all about, guys. Like, if a wheel can do that, if you can have a lot of fun on a wheel, that's what it's all about. It's not about the overall performance of it or getting a 20-inch electric unicycle that can do everything. If you have fun on it, that's what it's all about. And I think for $1,000, I mean, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, you simply can't go wrong with it. You're going to have fun on it, and it's you're going to ride it. Even if you have other wheels and you get this, you're definitely going to ride this. And you're definitely going to take it more places with you because it's so small. Like, there's simply no way I would ever go anywhere now without taking this wheel with me. At least taking this. Like, I used to always usually have an electric unicycle, like, in the truck with me if I go somewhere. But now I will always, always definitely have this in the truck with me. I mean, it's like throwing a little... Um, like a little backpack in the front seat of your car, but you always have this with you. And you can park far away from somewhere and ride into the city. That's one huge thing with this, guys. Think about the parking situation in any city nowadays. If you live out of town and you got to go to the city, you know it's like $25 to park. So just go to like the Walmart or the Target just right outside the city, park there, and then take this out and go ride into town and do what you got to do and come back and you know your car will be in a safe spot right there and then you won't have to pay the outrageous $25 parking in the city and you can just you really can get a lot of use out of this and make your money back on it just because of the convenience factor of it if you if you use it the right way but I think it's great I, I really do I think that this opens up the doors to so much more in this hobby and I'm so glad this exists and, and I had no clue that I would be liking an M10. I literally saw like the M10 3 and it never intrigued me. I saw I saw that thing for years. You know, I saw that little white M10 3 and was like, yeah, it looks it looks like it'd be fun for like an hour. Is what I always thought. Like, yeah, you know, if I got that I'd, I'd maybe ride it for like an hour and that's it. But dude, it's it really is a lot of fun. It really is a fun wheel. I mean, the M104, they nailed it with this, with the overall design, the build quality, the look, putting the off-road tire on it, and just making it, it looks like a little clap trap from Borderlands. It really does. It looks like you're riding around on a little clap trap or like a, a little invention that shouldn't even be real. But I'm, I, I'm stoked on it, and I think you will be too. If you want to pick one of these up, guys, use the links below. The the E Wheels link. Uh, I know E Wheels is going to be shipping these things out soon and getting a whole bunch of them in. So uh, if you want to get one, hit the E Wheels link below and buy one um, through that link. That's the only way it helps me out or gives me a little kickback is if you use the links below. And I greatly appreciate it if you do that. Uh, e Wheels did send this one out, so if you can use the E Wheels link to get it, that would be cool. But any of the other ones, like if you want to get it from E-Rides or anything like that, definitely hit the links below. They're all down there. So check this out. I even took this thing out on this, um, like, lake bed. And this is, this is sand, guys. This little thing rode around in sand quite well. And I thought that this thing would literally just get bogged down and not be able to go anywhere on this. But the tire is wide enough to where... Dude, you could get this and ride it on the beach. You really could. Like if you get down like close to the water, where the where the sand is um, compacted from the water washing up a little bit, you could easily ride this like on on the beach of like Santa Monica. You could ride it, you know, anywhere like that. Just when you, when you're done with it, spray it off with some uh, fresh water, and just you know make sure that it doesn't have any salt water sitting on it or anything like that. But you can see like right here. No problem at all. It, it it really does have the torque, guys. And for me, I'm about 140 pounds, and I could see this wheel 
put it this way. I, I wouldn't get this wheel if I was over, if you're over 210 pounds um, and you're riding this off road and doing all this stuff on it, then I, I would probably suggest getting something a little bit different. Maybe like a V12 high torque. At like if you're over 210 pounds or so, like a V12 high torque would feel about the same size as this. And, and that thing has a lot of damn power to get you around. Um, but I think a little wheel like this is perfect for a rider up to up to about that 210 pound um, uh, weight point. But anything over that, guys, just go ahead and get like the V12 high torque. I mean, that thing is really, if you want to get a smaller wheel that has a lot of power to it and you're a heavier rider, get the V12 high torque. I'm, I'm not steering you in the wrong direction. I'm, I'm just trying to look out for you on that one. Uh, but this right here, man, for any, like anybody that's a kid, if you're trying to get your kids into the hobby of EUC, dude, they made the perfect thing. Like your kids are gonna love the look of this. They're gonna be completely stoked on, on just the overall design and concept of the damn thing. And then it rides great. It's actually a great piece of kit. It's like, like I would definitely, I definitely like, if you look at like a one wheel pint and then this side by side, um, I mean, I think a kid would be way more stoked to get this over like the one wheel pipe. And this is, you know, like half the price of the one wheel pipe, even, even more so. And it has more range, more speed on it. And I, this is perfect, man. This is literally perfect for a lot of people out there. And I would have not, I would have never thought that. Like, I think it's the perfect, it's literally the pit bike of electric unicycles. It's perfect for older people that want to, you know, just, play around and have something to fool around with and change it up a little bit. And then it's also perfect for all the kids out there and all the younger folks that want to get into the hobby and maybe not spend a lot of money. It's also for those people that, that want to get into the hobby without spending a huge chunk of money, but just want to get an electric unicycle. So I think this just, they, they nailed it with this wheel, seriously. And it's something I would have never thought, but I love it. M104 gets a a 9.8 out of 10 for me on, on the rating for sure. And there's not many wheels out there that I rate that highly. Like the V12 High Torque and the M104 are two of the two of my highest rated wheels of 2022. I will say that for sure. Um, if you if you look at wheels that have had like the fewest amount of problems that have been um, just kick-ass wheels overall, I think, you know, not looking at speed, not looking at, you know, everything, just reliability and coolness and, you know, being different. I think the V12 high torque and then this one are just two of the top wheels of the year for sure. Look at those pedals, dude. I wear a size 10 and a half shoe and those pedals just are perfect. I mean, they really are. I mean, they're, they're huge, but they work for this wheel. They really do. One thing you got to watch out for, though, guys, is the pedals are low, just because the wheel is small. So you just the overall size of the wheel is way smaller. So your pedals, you can clip pedals like on rocks and stuff like that if you're off roading. But I think that I mean that's just I mean you know that if you're getting one of these, you know you your pedals are gonna be lower. And I think that's a lot of the fun of it, is just being able to navigate and fool around and um, just know that you got these big pedals down there that you have to be aware of uh, that can clip stuff. But I, I, that's definitely not a, a deal breaker for getting the wheel at all. I think that's just one of the fun factors of it actually, is that you gotta be aware of that and ride it more technically. Anyways, dude, this thing is, I just got done riding it again. I literally took a break doing the commentary and voiceover, and I've been out riding it even more. I didn't even film it, but I've been out just cruising on it, ripping it around, and riding it around out in the garage and around the house a little bit, and it's it's amazing, man. And the headlight is really bright. I was just riding it around at nighttime out there, and the headlight is great for seeing around. It It is super, super bright, actually. And you can definitely easily see your path in front of you with no extra lights or anything like that. And the tail light is awesome. I love how this thing is 
this digital looking tail light. So um, it definitely has enough lighting for such a small wheel. They nailed it with uh, the, the brake light and the, the headlight for sure. And I love I love the fact that the buttons and the charge port are encased in that aluminum upper. You see how they're housed inside that aluminum shell so they can't get damaged. And I, I just really like the whole overall build and structure of this thing. It's, it, 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 it is, it's great. I literally just got off of it. it. It's such a fun little wheel. I've been riding around in the driveway just fooling around for like an hour. But you can get one of these. Uh, the $500 deposits are open for this thing. So you put your $500 deposit in. And whenever these land at port, you pay the remaining $650. So in total, the whole this electric unicycle is only $1,150. And uh, I mean, for what you get with this thing, it's that's a really good deal, I think. I mean, it really, it really is. I was gonna actually buy one myself. I reached out to Jason at E-Wheels and he sent one over because I was I was planning to buy one myself. I offered, you know, just to. I said, hey, I want to want to buy one. Just can you offer a little discount or something? But I'll buy it outright. And he said, you know, I'll, I'll send one over for you. And so that, that was super super cool, and I appreciate that. But I was literally going to buy this wheel, so that just shows um, that I I wanted it, and it actually turned out to be exactly what I wanted it more. So it's what I expected, and even more. So it, it's, it's a good wheel. So it, it has a thousand watt motor in this thing, which I think is perfectly fine. And it's literally, I mean, it's it's torquey and it's fast for such a small wheel. It really gets up at, at top speed on this thing. It's like, holy cow, <laughs> this little thing rips. It really is fun and fast. But uh, anyways, dudes, if you want to pick one up, place your orders below. Um, if, you, if it intrigues you, just use the links below to get one. Uh, it doesn't help me out if you just go to the website to buy it. You gotta hit the links below to um, be able to give me the little kickback for getting it. But I really, I really enjoy this build a lot. And if uh, you want to see a lot more, um, subscribe. And I'm gonna be taking this thing to uh, do some city riding on it. I'm gonna build obstacle courses. I'm, you're gonna see a lot more of this build. So if you like, if you want to see more of the M10, definitely subscribe for more. And I'll be putting out the content for it. Thing is a ton of fun definitely if you're in, into the hobby of euc you got to have one of those hands down like i'm not kidding you you got to have one that thing is that thing is fun it's fun to show